soldiers across the Army commit themselves to bettering the world every day. We willingly give our blood, sweat, and tears to fight and win our nation's wars. But what about when it's time to pack away our rucks and put down our weapons for the last time? You once asked yourself, do you have what it takes to serve? It may be time to ask yourself that again. If when I was in the Army they said, and then one day you'll be a teacher, no, absolutely not. I wasn't somebody that anyone would say, oh, she loves children, she'll be great at it. I don't think that's what someone would describe me as. As long as it's working in your mind, that's all that matters. Um, I was at Fort Bragg. I was a military police officer, and I had just adopted my daughter, and we had been together not, not even quite a year. And so I was like, okay, I'm getting out. Don't, uh, like, don't carry that with you. Leave it in the past, and when you certify again, you're gonna be good. Okay. So, uh, my friend told me about teaching, and I hadn't even ever really considered teaching. That wasn't on the short list by any means. I was lost. I knew I wanted to be a teacher because of the hours and the availability. I just didn't know. Frankly, I didn't know anything. And so I Googled. Um, like every smart person does. And I kept coming up with troops to teachers. And that started my journey. <laughs> you drive me bonkers. Troops to Teachers has been a very successful program. We've placed over 21,000 teachers into the classroom on a daily basis. We process applications. We follow up with those people that are uh, seeking employment as teachers. And we also reach out to states that have job openings, opening up the opportunity for them to be hired as teachers. If you need to speak to anyone or contact me, just, um, just shoot me an email, give us a call, okay? They explained everything. They sent me an email that was super long, but super informative. I mean, I called. They asked me for my email, and boom, I had all the information at my fingertips. <laughs> what? That's but, impressive. Ew, right? Teaching is a very rewarding career. Just like being a service member and knowing that you're a part of making a change and a difference in the world, teaching is like that as well. You're making a difference. If you make a difference in one child's life, you're making a huge difference in society. Good morning, Wildcats. I like it. Wildcats. <laughs> I'm that person when I was in uniform and they would thank me for my service. It just seemed I'm like, no way. I'm so grateful to the military for the service they gave me. And it's kind of the same with the teaching. They're the ones that really keep teaching and growing me. So if you look at your time in the military as what it's brought to you, then teaching's going to be the same way. Jack. Believe it or not, you have learned a lot from me. Yes. You know, I heard once that the most sad, desperate, lonely, scared person in our country is a 15-year-old girl. And I think I relate to that. And I don't want them to feel like that. And so if I can give them that belief that I picked up in the Army and build them and encourage them, I think that's what I'm supposed to do with that military career. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to give it a try for as long as I believe in it.